Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here, and let's talk some mountain weather. I want to take you to where it's snowing right now. Aspen Snowmass doing very well, and the snow is going to continue off and on today and probably uh, tomorrow as well with some additional accumulation, so we should easily be in the double digits up there. This is the Snowmass camera. It's also snowing Vail, Loveland, uh, Winter Park, so uh, we're seeing a snowy day here in Colorado. It's also snowing in uh, Utah. Let me take you to Solitude. You can see the camera. Snow continues to come down there. Really nice busy day, full parking lot. Uh, look at the lift there at Moonbeam. Holiday weekend. Holiday week has uh, arrived. So snow will continue today. Today's really the prime day for accumulation in the Wasatch. And that'll be the case at Alta Snowbird. I consider anything that fell last night to be bonus. Most of the snow will come in today. And then it will taper off overnight into very early tomorrow morning. Um, so let me just uh, show you what is happening here. So this is water vapor satellite imagery. And so the big low, you can see it over um, Colorado right now. The cold front that dropped down, we finally brought the two together and removed that low from California. Well, there's another front. You can see it up here to the north. That's the one that comes in 1123 and 1124. Um, and it opened the door for much colder air to drop south out of Canada. Let me just show you my bullet points here to show you where we're headed. So snow continues today, 1119 through 1120, especially 1120 in Colorado, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Um, and then the next storm system, like I was showing you on satellite, 1123, 1124, that's the next one that will snow down the road for Thanksgiving, Utah and Colorado setting us up for some really nice powder. It's also going to snow up in the northeast as well, late on the 21st through the 22nd with a large storm system. Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, parts of New York will get some snow accumulation um, as well. So let me take you back and I want to show you how this is all going to play out with our, uh, here's the forecast radar and satellite. Um, current state of affairs right there. You can see all the blue is snow, Tetons, Big Sky, Wasatch, Colorado. All right, so by tomorrow morning, most of the snow is ending in Wyoming, ending in Utah, continuing off and on in Colorado. Watch what happens during the day. A low kind of spins up over the eastern plains with some rain showers at lower elevation. Snow continues in the mountains of Colorado, so we'll continue to crank out accumulation and in northern New Mexico, and then that's gone. Here comes the next uh, storm system in the form of a, a nice cold front on 1123 and 1124. Here it comes. Dropping south, big sky into Wyoming, and then it will hit the uh, the Wasatch and into Colorado. Very widespread snow uh, with much colder air moving in, so we're going to have much better snow efficiency, higher ratios uh, with this 23-24 uh, cold front. Look at all the snow in Colorado. It's going to be snowing in Denver. It'll be snowing across the Front Range on 11-24 with uh, several inches possible. And it's snowing there late in the day on the 24th, all the way down into northern New Mexico. We're really going to get some pretty good totals, I think, as the front kind of stalls out over southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Wait till you see some of those totals coming up here in just a couple of minutes. All right, let me show you the jet pattern. So this is 1123. You can see the dip in the jet supporting that next storm system. Uh, opens the door all the way out of Canada to bring that cold air in. Uh, by the 24th, it's wide open and moving through Colorado and northern New Mexico. Kind of gets hung up over the northern New Mexico as well. And it's much colder at this point. Uh, good snow efficiency. And then here's the final phase of the jet. Way down the road, 1128, much quieter across the west. Look at where the jet is most energetic. It's way up in the northeast. Look at those bright pinks. Powerful jet. Another storm system for the northeast. All right, total. So between today and the 23rd, <clears throat> so this combines what we're going to see today and tomorrow, plus the beginning of that cold front on 1123. That's why the numbers are so large through some of these places, you know, 6 to 10 through the Tetons, uh, some accumulation to Montana and Idaho, um, another 10 to 15 right there. And again, that's today, that's tomorrow, and 1123 in the Wasatch. Just starting to see the snow break out in Colorado, 2 to 6 there through the 23rd. Uh, here's the 24th through the 28th, still another uh, five or so in the Wasatch. Again, you may have potentially five on the 23rd, another five on the 24th. Could be a very nice period there through the Wasatch. In Colorado, <clears throat> another four to ten. Um, but look at southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, at least a foot. Some places could be in for a couple of feet. Um, let me focus in on some of those areas. Look at this. So this is the 20th through the 27th we're looking at. Uh, potentially a couple of feet of snow um, 
not as much in Telluride. The wind direction is not perfect. Uh, but some of these places, even down into the city of Durango and Bayfield, you could be looking at uh, heavy snow with this, this cold front bringing in all that cold air, dropping those snow levels all the way down to the valley floor. One more stop. I want to take it to the northeast, 20th through the 27th. So most of this snow falls late on the 21st into the 22nd, ending on the 23rd. There may be one more storm down the road beyond that, but we're looking at probably 6 to 10, 6 to 12 there through Vermont, New Hampshire, and also Maine. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Have a great Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll talk to you later.